Hey, this is Guy from New Plastic, and today I'll show you how I UV unwrap this hand model. Feel free to go on my gum road if you want to get the rigged hand model with the skin texture pack and everything. It's a huge support for me, so thank you. Follow me on Instagram at ojang, subscribe, share, comment, all that YouTube stuff. Let's go. So here's the hand we model and rigged. If I quickly put a checkered texture on it, you can see that without a UV tag, the texture is distorted in an uneven way. My main goal here is to create a UV map that uh, is spread as equally as possible across the mesh. That will ensure that any sort of pattern like pores and bumps and stuff like that, like the vitiligo pattern I have in my skin pack, will be spread across evenly and not get stretched. For that, we'll go to layout on the top right corner and we'll go to UV edit. The right window is where we can see the flat 2D representation of the UV map, which doesn't exist yet. Before we start, we'll make sure our model is selected and then go off to the polygon mode and then just make sure that there aren't any polygons selected. Otherwise, the mapping will only apply for those polygons. Now we can start. So we'll click on this UV icon here to get an initial UV map from a certain projection just as a starting point. From the menu, you can select different projections and they all will create different maps. I usually like to use shrink wrap, but it depends on the general shape of your model. And now we have a UV map. Problem is that, as you can see, it's smashing together the front side and the back side. Um, also, the fingers polygons are way smaller than the bottom of the arm, which will cause the texture of the fingers to stretch larger than the bottom part. So what we need to do here is to spread out the 3D surface into a 2D surface. For me, an easy way to understand it is to imagine a box as our 3D model, a wrapped box as the textured model, and a flat die cut of the wrapping paper as the UV map. And if you ever tried to neatly wrap a box, you know how hard it is. And for example, that's why the world map is so problematic. Automatic. Taking the globe, a 3D object, and spreading its surface into a 2D surface is a difficult task without getting distortions. I mean, look at how much bigger Greenland gets compared to Africa on the maps we still use today. But I digress. My point is that there's many ways to UV unwrap an object, and the best way is the way that fits your needs the most. So we'll start by making an edge selection where we want to slice open the model surface. So we'll go to the edge mode at the top and start making our selection. I want all fingers to have the same cut so their proportions will be as similar as possible. So I'm selecting the edge that runs across each one of them. Now I don't want to make a selection from edge to edge because that will split the UV map into two pieces, also called islands. And it's totally fine to do it, but I just prefer not to for this model. I'll always go for one island if I can pull it off neatly. So I'll continue the selection into the thumb and slice through it as well. And I'll end the selection right here. There's no absolute reason why. It's mostly trial and error. What I definitely take into consideration is that I want it seems to be as invisible as possible. So I'll always try to select edges that are not in obvious places or in places where I know the camera is going to focus on. So let's say I'm happy with this selection. I'll save it just in case I want to go back to it. And then I'll go to Relax UV tab on the bottom left. Make sure Cut Selected Edges is checked and then hit Apply. And bam, you have a 2D representation of a 3D surface. Let's see how the texture looks now. And look at that. All the squares are pretty evenly scaled. No major stretching at all. I like it. We can go back, click on UV polygons at the top and try to choose a different method of distribution. But as you can see, it doesn't really look that good. Fingers are distorted. So we'll go back to the previous one. And besides that overlap of the thumb, which I don't mind, we're good. Now we can control or command A to select all the polygons and use R, T and E shortcuts to transform the map and fit it more tightly into the square. You kind of want to take as much space as you can inside that square. Okay, so let me quickly show you a different approach where we separate parts of the surface into different UV islands. I'll use the same edge selection we had, but I'll add loop cuts at the base of each finger. I'll adjust the selection. I'll remove these edges and actually I don't want the fingers to be sliced all the way through. So I'll remove the edges from one side of each finger and I'll prefer having the selected edges on the inside of the fingers where the camera can't really see. Then I'll hit apply on relax UVs again. And you can see that some islands are really, really tiny. So we'll make sure that we're on UV polygon mode. Press E, click on a polygon, then press U and W to select all polygons connected. And then we can scale with T and drag. And as we align the islands, we can see how it affects the texture and eyeball it until the textures look undistorted and equally scaled all the way through. And if I use the skin texture, for example, I can try and see if there's any distortions or any ugly seams and everything looks pretty good. The only thing that kind of shows is the seam on the side of the hand, as you can see here. And this is the same texture with the first UV map we made with only one island and the seam here is kind of invisible 
I mean, if you really zoom in all the way on the fingers, you can kind of see where the map splits, but I'm not planning on any extreme zooms like that, so I'm okay. The only way you would see it is if we use larger noise textures like in the vitiligo texture. You can either try different UV unwrapping or just try and move the noise node around until it's not placed on the seams. Like I said, it takes some creative solving. And if you look around, you can see that there is no visible seams anymore. And there you go. Hopefully that cleared out some of the confusions with UV unwrapping. And uh, even though this is just scratching the surface, that's the method I use for most of my models and it's enough for me. In the next tutorial, I'll use this method along with body painting to control hair density and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at Ojang. Comment, subscribe, share. I love you. Have a good day. Peace.